So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what I have is I have the cube root of negative 64, Jake, not right now. So if I'm going to look into taking the cube root of negative 64, again, guys, what we're looking into is what number multiplied by itself, what exact same number multiplied by itself is going to give us negative 64. But remember, that number has to be multiplied by itself three times. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this, and we're going to get into some more, com um, some more complicated numbers um, in soon. But the base thing I always like to do is when I'm looking into determining cube roots or square roots, is I always small start with the smaller numbers. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is actually, yes, negative 64. So I could do the cube root of 4 times 4 times 4. Or, since it has to be negative 64, I see that 4 times 4 times 4 gives me positive 64. But remember, the cube root is saying what number multiplied by itself three times gives me a negative 64. And that ends up being negative 4. Do you guys see how negative 4 multiplied by itself three times is going to give you negative 64? So the answer is just negative 4. The important thing that I want you guys to understand